this video I'm gonna show you how to set up Docker with your first container Node-RED on the CMTK. You have to make sure that your CMTK is connected to the internet. The easiest way is to do it using LAN port 2, connect it to your router for example using DHCP and it should have internet immediately. You can also use static IP address instead of course. The Docker functionality is available from firmware version 1.2. Make sure you have the latest version to use all new functions. To activate the Docker function you need to go to settings. Make sure you have an SD card ready which is already plugged to the CMTK. It should have at least 16 GB. To format the SD card enable the expert mode. This has to be done with every new SD card. The passphrase saves your data for third party access. So this is necessary to use the SD card in the CMTK. The formatting is finished at the moment you see the capacity of the SD card. Now you are ready to enable Docker. Confirm this by using the button save. It takes a couple minutes until Docker is fully started. So after waiting a bit you are able to open Portana by using this button. It allows you to go directly to the Portana graphical user interface for configuring Docker and install your first container. The first startup asks you to create an admin password. I recommend to use the same than you use on the CMTK. It's easier to remember the password. By clicking on home you will find your installed environment, which in this case is called local. In your environment you are able to install your own containers. And you see there's already one installed. The one which is installed is Portainer which gives us this graphic user interface. So let's add our first container. By adding a container you have to define a name for your container. It doesn't matter which name, it makes sense if we want to install Node-RED to call it Node-RED. The image for the container can be found, for example, in the Docker Hub. A Docker, the Docker Hub is a very huge Docker library where you can find almost every kind of software you can imagine. In the Docker Hub it's easy to find the containers, so in this case we watch for a node read. So the first one we find is already the one we are looking for. Just copy the text. Or use the docker pull command if you're not using Portainer. But the easiest way is just copy and paste. Paste the name of the image. This is already enough to pull the image from the docker hub. So in this case always pull the image means it will always download the image again from the internet. So this is why you need the internet connection. Next step is to publish all necessary ports you are using in the container to a public port. In the CMTK it's necessary to use ports upper than 50,000. So all ports below 50,000 are already used internally by the CMTK. So in this case for the Node-RED we need to publish the port 1880 and we'll publish that port to our host port 50,000. Below there are some advanced settings, for example for additional volumes you can create internally network settings or also the restart policy of the container which we are looking on later. At the end you have to deploy the container which will download the image file and install it in your Docker environment 
um, on your CMTK. So this takes a while depending on your internet connection. Um, you will see here containers installed successfully and it will start immediately afterwards. So by reloading the container list at the top you will see if it's really started. So green means it's already started. It's running through an health check which does each container at the first startup. Um, but this means Node-RED is already running and you have already done if you just want to install Node-RED on your CMTK. So by clicking on the name of the container you will directly jump into all the settings and see the actions at the top. And there's one more setting I want to um, explain to you that are the restart policies. In this case I used the option unless stopped which means the container is always restarting unless it is stopped manually. So here you see the published ports which means or which allows you to jump directly to the Node-RED environment. So by using the IP address of your CMTK and the published ports, which is in this case 50,000, you can directly open Node-RED. To have an easy start, you can go to dev.cmtk.de where you can find a lot of examples for have an easy start with programming the CMTK. Or you ask your local Baluf technician to give you some example flows as I have here in this example. In this case I have some flows where are some uh, functions missing. So in the first step I show you how to install the missing functions in Node-RED. Therefore, you have to go to pellets and install your missing pellets. In this case, it's missing um, the influx db function in Node-RED. Just look for it, click on install, and the function will be installed directly. Also for this, you have to have an internet connection. This is mandatory. So. After you installed all your functions, um, you have to deploy um, the actual flows and you can directly start working with your flows and use the easy functions which are already integrated. So we start with the control smart light function which allows us to get data through the internal MQTT from the CMTK and look for a specific value of a BCM sensor and switch the smart light to green or red. So in this case I activated the example flow so the MQTT already gives us um, the data from the port 1 on which I installed a BCM sensor so at the moment we use a debug function and have a look on what is coming in. So we will see directly what data is coming in from the sensor. So in this case the vibration values, contact temperature, all the bit values and so on. So in the function I have the rest call to write process data directly to one port. In this case I have connected to port 4 a smart light which then shows the actual situation of my BCM sensor. This means I have a BCM on port 1 and a smart light on port 4 and at the moment I have a high vibration on my BCM sensor the smart light switches to red and when the vibration gets lower it gets back to green. Have fun trying this out and don't hesitate to ask your local Baluf support to help you.